It's me. I'm home. Huh? What? Oh, you already have food ready on the table? Thank you. You're lovely. Spare ribs? <laughs> he knows me so well. <sighs> hey. <sighs> Busy. Messy. My legs are so sore right now. I barely had any time to sit down. I had to wait two hours to eat my lunch. Yeah, that sounds great. Can you rub my legs? Thanks. Like, I'm grateful for the job, don't get me wrong. And the customers were almost all satisfied with their makeovers, but... <sighs> well, we all have our limits. <laughs> Curly hair is definitely my kryptonite. I know we've been over it, but I guess after dealing with my own head for so long, dyeing thick, fluffy hair that's fairly straightforward is where it's at for me. Same with trimming and whatnot. Anyway... I had to have a co-worker come over and help me. The guy I was serving got a little impatient, but we both trimmed either side of his head, styled his mane, dyed it. Hey, speaking of which, do you want me to get your hair dyed anytime soon? Well, I'll admit I'm used to seeing your naturals again, but, well, maybe this time we could just streak your hair rather than change the entire thing? <laughs> okay, what color would you want? Not red, and not black. We already did both those. Let's try something new. Blue? Oh, yes! I can absolutely see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm stroking your bangs. Wanna know why? I'm trying to imagine recoloring it. You like it when I pat your head. Especially if I do it while I'm sitting in your lap. Admit it. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think if we did it up here, that would be perfect. Hmm. Then I'll pick some dye up from my work tomorrow. They'll give me a discount. And then we can dye your hair. I'm not ready to go back to work tomorrow. I feel like we've been... No, never mind. Okay, fine. I feel like we've been doing nothing but working for the past few months. Nothing but work. And the bills just never stop. Like, all things considered, you know, we're doing alright, but... <sighs> well, a normal person would probably call in some family favors, but... Yeah. Oh, it's fine. David probably needs all the money he can get anyway. Hmm? A vacation? You know what? That actually sounds phantasmal right now. Fanta... Fan... Fant whatever. If anything, that just proves my point. My brain is fried. Time off would be exactly what the doctor ordered. Then... Where do you want to go? Because personally speaking... Two places that stick out to me. A beach house with a hot tub and a view of the stars. Or a place with penguins. Squawk. <laughs> the penguins thing was a joke. Squawk! Put your phone down. <laughs> We're not going to Antarctica. <laughs> I assume there are penguins there. A beach house sounds nice. Great. Then I'll definitely need to buy a swimsuit or something. The last one I had was when I was a teenager. It <laughs> definitely doesn't fit me anymore. I've grown around the waist since then. 
but you already knew that, right? <laughs> hey, there's an idea. I mean, if we're both stressed and we have a place to ourselves, we could always explore a little bit. Mm -hmm. That sounds really nice. Okay, well, I'm going to do a bit of shopping tomorrow. Let's see what places we can find and make arrangements. Sound good? <laughs> Great. I have an earworm. Why do I never get to pick the music? Uh, you're the one driving, that's fair. Which turn? Um, GPS says go left here, then keep following a long, long straight road. Yeah, we're gonna be going this way for a while. Are you okay? You seem a bit nervous. I seem a bit nervous? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I am. It's like, excited, nervous. Three days, that's our limit here. We're gonna have to make the most of it. No, oh, that's cool. Some time with you, it's the best I can ask for. I'm grateful for any length of time we get to spend together. I can hardly wait. It's so clean and fancy. It's like something right out of a romance movie. <laughs> oh my god, look at the view of the beach. And is that? <gasps> yes! We've got a back deck with some chairs and a hot tub and a mini bar. Oh my. <laughs> we may have gone overboard. <laughs> this feels like a vacation home for five families, not two emo punks. <laughs> Well, we're lucky we got a place that's private. That means no risk of random people spilling into our beach lawns or watching us chill on a chair or in the hot tub. God, it'll be great to get away from everyone else. Oh, hey, speaking of which, you know what I saw the other day? An article revolving around an alleged celebrity scandal written by Melinda Montebray, no less. <laughs> Holy shit, she became a journalist. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Corrupt journalism sounds like her calling. It's almost scary how accurate that is. Well, whatever. I always wondered to myself what I would do if Melinda came to my workplace for a cut or a makeover. And honestly, I'd probably just smile and give her the best service I could because I know nothing would irritate her more than seeing that I am doing exceptionally well for myself. <laughs> what if I just pretended I didn't remember her? I bet that would rile her up. <laughs> okay, enough about Melinda. This place is clean, I don't want to taint that. Let me pour you a drink. Sure, we should unpack our stuff, but it's been a long drive. We need to refresh. Man, it'd be a shame to let all of the bar go to waste. Maybe I should invite David and Sydney over here one of these nights. I'll consider it if we're feeling a little social by the second night. Hmm? Oh, yeah! Didn't I tell you? I guess not. David tied the knot. Turns out he was dating a woman named Sydney, and I never heard about it. Tied the knot? It, it means one of them proposed to the other. They're engaged to be married one of these days. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for him. Maybe a little jealous, if I'll be honest, but he's worked hard. I hope he's found someone good for him. I haven't really talked to Sydney yet, but I trust his judgment. <laughs> it's cool. He's earned it. And besides, I... I think my jealousy will be short-lived. 
Anyway. Here's your glass. Cheers. Reception is surprisingly good out here. We have a lot of channels on demand. Hmm. Um, hey babe, do you see a remote around here? I'm trying to turn the TV on. Ah, got it. I'll leave it here so we don't forget it. Hmm? <laughs> what? You're taking my hands, what's up? You wanna go chill in the hot tub? Hmm, that's a good idea. With the sunset, it's gonna be dark soon. We'll definitely be able to see the stars. Let me get changed real quick. Where do I leave my clothes? Hey, stay right there. Let me slide in next to you. Ooh, that is hot. Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'll take your staring as a compliment. <laughs> Come here. Let me put my arm around you. And do not make that dumb vine reference. Lord knows I get enough vine references with my name alone. Do you know how often people at my workplace will walk up to me and go, You done effed up, A.A. Ron? Yeah, for some reason, most of them don't even say the whole word. They say effed. I don't know, it's just a coincidence, but I thought it was kind of funny. Anyway, it wouldn't even make sense. We are chilling zero feet apart because we are, in fact, very gay. Now, come here. <laughs> Have I ever told you just how handsome you are? You're also a really good kisser, too. Man. You ever think about, like, four years back? A period of time when we were just getting to know each other? Sometimes I think about it. Like, holy crap, remember that time when we were friends? <laughs> Literally, if you hadn't let me sit next to you on the bus, or if Melinda had been less forgetful that day, we wouldn't even be doing this right now. You wouldn't know about Danganronpa, I wouldn't have dozens of really cute drawings of me done by you, the list really goes on. It's a scary thought, truth be told. But I'm glad it worked out. Hmm? What? You want me to say it again? Oh, sure. You are the most handsome boy in the whole wide world. I love the way your hair parts over your forehead, the twinkle in your eyes when you smile, the way you hold me when we cuddle. You're perfect. Aww, I love you too. A lot more than you know. In fact, um, there's something I gotta tell you. So, the sky is gonna be pretty clear tonight. Supposedly we won't be getting any clouds, which means the stars will be out. And if you'd like, I sort of wanna lay a blanket out and chill under the stars for a bit on the beach. After we get out of the hot tub. Does that sound good to you? <laughs> Great. You can tell me all about the astrological signs and stuff while we do. Or we can just sit and gaze at the stars in silence. Whatever works for you. Now, let me see if I can reach the drinks from here. <clears throat> Got it. <clears throat> here. Take your glass. It's sangria. I made it myself. 
It's the same blend from last Thanksgiving. I know you said you liked the peach sangria, so I remixed the recipe, then added some... mystery ingredients. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, it's it's not sinister. I, I just wanted to surprise you. I just hope you'll like it. Cheers. I see it, I see it. Pretty. I'll level with you, I don't really see it. I just like hearing about the formations. Yeah, the way you explain it's really cute. I know I'm supposed to look for the bright stars, but... Baby, they're all bright. <laughs> they're stars. What can I say? I'm a creature that thrives in darkness. It comes with the turf. Hey, you know what you signed up for when you said you wanted to date the emo kid? And look where it got you. <laughs> and I'm glad you did too. Oh, where are you going? Follow you? Um, uh, okay. <sighs> oh, <laughs> nothing. Oh, you want to get closer to the water? Sure. Wait, you want to step in the water? Uh, sure that's a good idea. I mean, drying off will be kind of... Okay, okay, I'm following you into the water. <laughs> oh, wow. It's had time to bake in the sun all day. It's pretty warm. I mean, compared to the hot tub, it's nothing substantial, but wow. I was expecting to immediately be unable to feel my feet. No, no, I'm not letting go of your hands. Take me where we need to go. I'll follow. Promise? What? I mean... Of course. I'll follow you. Wherever you want to go. Uh, darling, are you sure you want to crouch down? You're gonna get... Wait. Wait, wait a sec, are you... No way. No, 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 goddamn wait, wait. Wait, a ring? Are you... No, 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 I'm not laughing at you, I just, I, uh, well, uh, let me kneel down. Here's a ring, will you marry me? <laughs> yes, of course I will marry you. Wait, wait, so we were both planning on proposing to each other? <laughs> what, what were the odds of that? How long have you been planning this? <laughs> Six months? Oh my god, I've only been planning it for four and a half. <laughs> well, here. Put it on my finger. I'll do the same for you. <sighs> Silver and red. You know me so well. <sighs> I love it. And yours looks great on you. <laughs> Suck it, Mom and Dad! We're getting married and you can't stop us! <laughs> Sorry, adrenaline rush. <laughs> I'm... <sighs> I'm really happy right now. You have no idea how ready I am to spend the rest of my life with you. <sighs> I never thought I would be ready, but... I'm gonna be a husband. <sighs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> we should go back inside now, then. I got such a head rush from all of that, I... I need to lie down. <laughs> no, no, it was the best kind of head rush. Please, just... <laughs> Let me cuddle you tonight. 
I want to cuddle you so bad right now. It's a nice view of the beach. Wouldn't you agree? Would be even better if it wasn't raining. <laughs> I mean, normally I like rain, but when it cuts in the way of what was supposed to be a beach vacation and completely unannounced, then I like it a little less. Hey, what did I tell you last time? Stay still. I don't want your scalp to also turn blue. I'm only aiming for streaks here. Just gotta angle it properly. Hey, hey. Listen to your fiancé. He makes a living doing this shit. <laughs> fiancé. God. I still can't believe it. You ready to head back home tomorrow? I mean... It was fun. It really, really was. All good things have to come to an end sometime, though. But that doesn't mean we can't do this again. Hmm. One of these days, we should get a house here. That's what we should save up for. It's not... I was going to say, um, it's not a bad spot to raise a family, is it? No, I guess not. <laughs> Give me a little more time. We'll see. I meant your hair, darling. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought, too. <laughs>